What is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Codexual here with a video that's going to be showing you how to convert your model's uh, extensions into a different extension. So for this example, I do use Mix Ammo um, or Mix AMO, however you want to pronounce it. So there's two file types that it uses, the F, the X, and the OPK. So if you have like a dot .ee file format extension, we can definitely convert it into a F, the X, or OPJ. So this is where this site comes into play, and it'll convert it into an MP5, an OBJ, MTL, file formats. So go ahead and find your model if it's a .dae. I have Asana here from the model resources. We're going to go ahead and download the zip, and we're going to go ahead and open it up. So right here is the folder. And as you can see, there is not any .obj or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the folder into our desktop, close out of this, and go towards our converter here. You're going to hit Add File, and now you're going to look for that folder, which is right here. And it'll say um, the uh, Asana Swimsuit .dae, which is what we want to convert. And now you're going to hit the... Uh, arrow button that says start if you hover over it and you're going to go ahead and hit next and now you're going to pick your file format which is a uh, obj is what we want it to be there's other file formats as well so you're going to go ahead and click next and you're going to hit start and now it's officially converting the file so this can take a brief second or it can take up to several minutes okay so now that we have both of these items here so you're going to go ahead and uh um, click on them both and now we're gonna go ahead and open um, in folder so now we want to get these two folders or excuse me these two files and drag it drop in here so what we want to do is delete the .dae first so we'll go ahead and delete that and now we'll go ahead and upload it right here you can go ahead and close out of that. Now what you want to do is right click, add to archive if you have Renoir, or you want to send it to a compressed folder, send to a compressed folder. We want it to be a .zip. So that's a .zip. So if you have Renoir, um, I just add to archive, then click the zip format. If you don't have Renoir, you can send to, then compressed folder, and it'll be zipped. So that's what you want. Next thing is go to your mix AMO and uh, select the character. So we can go ahead and drag and drop the entire folder here. And this will process through. Loading and loading. Okay, so now that we have the model here. So that's fairly simple. Um, now you can do whatever you want with it and we're going to go ahead and click next, you know, add the chin and all this whatnot stuff. We're going to add the wrist and it's fairly symmetrical and it's in a T pose. That's what I want. That's awesome. And right there's the elbows. We're going to add the knees right here and we're going to add the groin area and move that up right about there, respectfully. Uh, and go ahead and hit next, and now it's gonna auto rigoring um, this uh, model here. Okay, so this is awesome. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click next, so it's done. And um, that's from a previous character, don't worry about that. Now our model's gonna go ahead and pop up. And yeah, everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and download it and we're going to look at it into our file editor modeling program. Okay, so it's in our T-Pose. Um, I want to put some animation to it. So I just want to do, um, you know what, it doesn't matter. We're going to do a Samba dance, dancing. And we're going to go ahead and download uh, the character. We're going to leave everything by the default settings. Uh, now it can be converted to the FBX and with skin and 30 frames per second. And, you know, if you want to add the keyframes, reductions, you can do that as well. So we're going to go ahead and save that and we're going to open up our editor program. Alrighty, so now that we have our editing program here and uh, we have our um, Asana 
here and uh she's not in her moving state um i I'm a bit of a noob at Unity. I was going to use her Lens Studio and do uh, animation there and have her dance, but we're going to pretend that she's dancing. The reason why that we popped up in Unity instead of Lens Studio is because I had this error, and I'm going to have to figure out what the heck is going on. It says I'm missing some DDL files and I have to install the uh, C++ service pack or something like that. Um, which I already have installed, so it's a little bit of a problem, but that's that's a different issue. It's not related to this whatsoever. The What I just showed you is awesome. Um, I'm just having technical errors on my own, but um, that's neither here or there. So the point is that this um, export and the file conversion into a different file format works superbly. And, yeah, so we'll... Uh, let me know if you guys enjoy the video and leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It actually helps me out a whole lot. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, run until the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before. And you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on like I'm blind to all the hate.